all right what is going on guys it is your boy tkd123 here back again here on playstation source and we do have part three okay guys part three the blue box game studios conspiracy part three what has happened so far but before we get to what has happened before okay if you're new here you're stumbling across this whole story you'll know what's going on go to the description and check out parts one and two of this series i'm probably gonna make a playlist on the channel as well later on but you know in the meantime check out part one and two to really get the full scope of what's been going on where we covered the inception of this whole thing and just all that has you know led up to this point okay so definitely go check out those parts one and two of the blue box game studios conspiracy and before we get to this video part three which we got to cover the real-time experience app we got to cover this interview that hessen gave we got to cover the you know blurred uh big boss looking image as well we got to talk about all of that but before we get to that make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it as well as subscribe to playstation stores to keep up with the latest and greatest in PlayStation and all things abandoned because you know what I don't really have a horse in this race I'm not a Silent Hill fan I am a Kojima fan I am a Metal Gear fan but even if this ends up just being nothing this story is just incredibly interesting to me so I just want to at least you know cover it and have it on the record as things develop and unfold right but you know starting off here let's start at the first point in this video because we have a lot more to go to july 27th july 27th blue box game studios tweets this image out with the caption are you ready we are so uh, of course we have the abandoned logo nothing too crazy there real time experience only on playstation 5 ah, da, da. and then we have this blurred background with this with the gentleman with an eye patch on now i want to also read to you the pinned tweet that blue box game studios put on their twitter at june 15th on june 15th excuse me on june 15th 2021 they say here quote we wanted to set things straight we have no relations with konami silent hill is owned by konami we do not have any relations with hideo kojima it was never our intention to tease the name as silent hill we sincerely apologize for this once again that whole tease of silent hill being that oh our game starts with an s ends with an l whatever you know what i'm saying obviously people are gonna you know think that it's silent hill or whatever because that whole thing is covered in part one and two go and check that out ah, da, da, right but to have that be your pin tweet okay acknowledge that people are making connections to Hideo Kojima and your game. And then you put out this. We're gonna cover more about what they have to say about that whole thing towards the end of the video in the interview, but we really wanna gonna, you know, I really I really wanna go chrono chronological order in this whole thing. Okay, I'm really getting flustered. Chronological order in what happened, you know, point to point. But we will get to that later on. But you know, once again, they put out this tweet with the knowledge that people are comparing abandoned and what's going on with that to Hideo Kojima and Konami okay so we have that this obviously sparked a lot of rumors you know is this is this big boss is this solidus because the eye patch you know if you know it 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 can't be on the left hand side I believe the I believe the left hand side if you're facing the person uh, I don't know why I'm saying it like that. It's on the wrong eye. The only two people in Metal Gear that have eye patches over that eye is Solidus and Big Boss, right? So it could be one of those two, but a lot of people were running with that. And then we fast forward here to, again, um, Hessen uh, later on, on August 4th, puts out a thread that is replying to the allegations that Abandon is using a lot of reused assets from Unreal, right? Because um, as you can see on the thumbnail as well of this video, uh, people found this bald person with an eye patch that a lot of people are saying that that is the asset that they're using in that image that they put out with Big Boss. Well, not Big Boss, but you know, looks like Big Boss eye dot, right? So people were saying that this is the Unreal asset that is being used in that wallpaper on top of all of this talk about how the trailer that they put out earlier on with the blog post is just a bunch of reused assets from Unreal. Hessen had this to say about that whole thing. We have four tweets to get through. Let's start from the top here. There is a huge confusion regarding Abandon and the teaser we teased in April. Usually we would use Speed Tree for vegetation solutions for the game, but when we came across the realistic looking tree from the Unreal Content Store, we wanted to use these instead. Speed Tree is the industry standard when it comes to rapid tree creation pipeline for decades in both AAA and indie games. We felt that using the trees from the content pack was a great match with our vision. However, we did optimize the trees and tweak them to fit the game perfectly. This pipeline is 
also not a strange thing in the bigger indie games and AAA. I hope this gave everyone clarity on the usage of the trees. And so that was covering that thing. And you know, like that, I can't really speak to from an educational standpoint. I don't know game development, right? I'm not sure how assets, you know, get reformatted and reused and all that. So I can't really say with certainty, but you know what? I mean, we're having a lot of people pull stuff from Unreal that are readily available in their asset store that you're using in your supposed, you know, new game, whatever, right? So there is that. I just wanted to just have his side of that whole thing on the record. There it is, right? Now let's fast forward here to August 10th. They've been talking about a lot the past few months about this real-time experience app. It's going to be fire. We're going to see the game running on PS5, da, 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 whatever, right? So August 10th comes to pass. And 13 minutes before the patch was supposed to go live on August 10th, they released this five second trailer, watch with me people. So that was cool. A lot of people start getting excited, like, oh shit, like there's some real footage for this game. Let's go, let's get it popping. I can't wait for 13 minutes to pass to when the patch goes live, okay? So we were streaming this live up on the channel and you know, an hour goes by two hours goes by we start playing split gate we start playing avengers we bring in the homies cameron hawkins christian buckley you know what i'm saying mario rivera like like we're all just talking in the discord waiting for this to you know go live this patch and it never does and during this time they were also tweeting about saying hey you know we're having difficulties with the app ah, da, da. we're gonna get it up it's real whatever because now at this one people are saying that the patch is fake or whatever but they mysteriously deleted these tweets later on which i find kind of kind of confusing but they delete those tweets oh well so i don't have proof for you but i assure you there were tweets going up and i still have my quote tweets up on my twitter follow me by the way link below in the description at psource vids but we still have those quote tweets up of us quote tweeting the tweets that they were tweeting i said tweets so many times there god damn but they were tweeting you know some updates about the you know patches just uh, availability and when it'll be ready whatever which brings us to august 13th Friday the 13th, okay, three days after the patch was supposed to go live, okay, the patch goes live, okay, it actually happens, I'm downloading it, I'm streaming, I'm excited, I want to see what's going on with this game, and this is exactly what we got. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, boys, hold up. No way, bro. Don't even tell me that. Wait, don't even tell me that. Hold up. Run it back. Wait, are you fucking kidding me? Dude. Bro, are you fucking kidding me right now, guys? That's it? We already saw this on Tuesday. We saw this on Tuesday. Oh my gosh, bro. I would stand up, but I'm in my boxer briefs. I'm not trying to show y'all some jiggly bits. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying. I would be up here pacing left and right. But what the fuck was that? Bro! Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me right now. <sighs> so yeah, that that was what we got uh, on Friday. So uh, 
<laughs> man i remember on stream we were trying to put in the konami code the stream is still up by the way go go on the channel and go check out that uh you know vod of the stream it's still up on the channel but we were trying to put in the konami code we were trying to move the sticks while the trailer was playing we were trying to do anything we could but literally all they gave us was the same trailer that we got on tuesday we got uh some music that was new as well and then we got a three second you know blurred image of what looks like a table and a door in front of you like like that was literally it and so that really was a lot to take in. like oh like i i still can this day only just laugh at the at the situation just because I, that's hilarious like, like that's still hilarious that they delayed this and really we didn't get a whole lot of anything when it finally came out three days after it was supposed to come out, right? But let's go into this new interview here. This interview was from NME.com that was posted on August 16th of this year, 2021. So this has a lot to cover. We're gonna go over first here the apps rollout and how Hessen and his team kind of took this whole app rollout. Once again, link below in the description to this article if you want to read it in full because there's actually a lot of stuff in there involving the game itself that I do want to cover in a separate video in the future. But let's go over just the really critical things that we gotta talk about here in the whole blue box game conspiracy debacle. Let's go over here. First up here, he's asked about the apps rollout and he had this to say about the situation. It's been a real big disaster, admits Caraman. People are really disappointed. Basically, we had to cut out some footage from the opening teaser, and I knew that it wasn't a good idea to use the same footage that we had on Twitter and put it in there because it's literally just four seconds of footage and it doesn't give much. But we needed to do this because the people wanted to have a patch, right? That was our first priority. Just get the patch out there because we will be adding more content later. What are you talking about? People wanted a patch. Yeah, sure people wanted the patch because the patch is supposed to give us more info on abandoned we don't just want a patch because we just want a patch what are you talking about like, like like that is one of the quotes that i'm just like bro i do not understand i would not understand what's so confusing about this what like what do you mean the people just wanted the patch right like what are you talking about but let's move on okay <sighs> <laughs> Let's just move on, okay? He then, uh, you know, gives a little more context as to the overall patch and everything. And he says here that it started with engine issues when we had the patch delay and we couldn't really resolve that. We weren't alone. We had some other teams working with that, so it got really out of hand. Maybe it's because we use Unreal Engine 5, which is in early access, which is not really recommended for a project like this, but we did it anyway because we needed the features that it had. Okay, that just seems like, you know, okay, you just things weren't working, you had other people working on it, you know, Unreal Engine 5, Beta, you know, okay, alright, I guess I can, you know, they, that doesn't really explain a lot, but sure, okay, you know, it's alright. Um, but then, you know, overall, like, I do gotta, you know, give them a, a, a bit of kudos here, guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, at least they are now having a bit of a tone of candidness that we will see here in this next quote involving what's coming next from this reveal, you know, rollout and everything for Abandoned. They say here, quote, the cinematic trailer will be very soon, like really soon, Caraman revealed. At first, we wanted to launch it at Gamescom, but we just have to see if we can reach that. Gamescom is like a week from now, question mark. We don't want the same mistakes. We don't want to announce a date and then make it really tight again for us because if we screw it up, then I think that it will be screwed up forever. We want to make sure that we don't announce a date yet, but it's really soon that the cinematic trailer will be up. I don't think it's really soon. I don't like, like at, at, I, I don't think it's really soon because like you said that, you know, the, you know, real time trailer was going to put out August 10th. It wasn't there on August 10th, and then there's other evidence to support that they were pushing that date when it definitely was not going to happen, right? So I just don't think that, you know, it's coming, quote-unquote, really soon. Once again, they're not saying a date here, which I think is a good thing. Like, like, don't say dates anymore, so that's a good thing, but I'm not sure what really soon means. And the fact that, like, you know, they're questioning when Gamescom is, and they want to, and they're, and they're seeming like they're hoping that it comes out during Gamescom, but they don't know when it is, like, like, he question mark a week from now like okay all right okay you know that's that but hey at least i appreciate them you know understanding that hey maybe let's not set dates that we're not a hundred percent sure that we can hit so at least there's that okay 
But then he goes on to cover the eye patch guy, okay? The guy from the from the thumbnail, the guy from the beginning of the video. Let's talk about this guy. Quote, the eye patch, said Caraman, shaking his head. The eye patch. Everyone immediately linked it to Solid Snake, but I was like, people think it's Silent Hill, so it wouldn't make sense if people linked it with Snake. It's not just Silent Hill that people are linking this game to. They're linking it to Kojima. They're linking it to Metal Gear itself. They're linking it to Konami. And yes, Silent Hill is a separate IP, but people are still linking it with Kojima who made Metal Gear. So don't tell me that you weren't surprised that people are linking this eye patch guy who is looking like someone from Metal Gear that we all know very much and well, okay? I, like, c come on, dude, come on, bro. You know what people, like, you knew what people were going to do when you see an eye patch guy after you've had weeks and months of people connecting your game to Kojima who made Metal Gear. Why is that, so, like, bro, why is that such a surprising revelation? Why is that such a surprising revelation? Like, come on, dude. Come on, bro. Like, yeah, okay, I get that, you know, if you really boil it down and and we just throw out any past context, that, yeah, sure, why is someone, you know, with an eye patch connected to Silent Hill? But come on, you know the spider web that, that, that like, this has gone to. Come on, dude, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, dude, can we stop? But let's move on because he does give a little bit, you know, after he took a little bit, okay? He says here, I do have to admit, that was a big mistake, but there's no changing it now because it's too late. Once it's up, it's up. And so once again, I'll 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 double back. Uh, so you are confused that people were linking you to Silent Hill, but then you understand that it's a mistake, huh? I wonder how you know it's a big mistake. Oh yeah, it's because uh right uh people are also comparing your game to Kojima and Metal Gear. People are also making those ties. Like, come on, dude. But then we move on. Uh, the actual article unfolds to uh, say that this blurred man uh, is actually the villain of Abandoned. He says here, quote, People were like, no, that's a stock image. It was ripped from the website, I can tell. The thing is, it's actually a metahuman powered character. He looks bald, but he actually has facial hair, and he has some hair as well, but it's so blurred that you don't see that. The reason it's blurred is because we want to surprise people. We didn't want to give it away, but people misunderstood that so from now on we're not going to blur anything anymore i got a few things to say about this quote number one um okay if it's a meta human power character that's cool and all um you know once again the stock image that everyone is comparing this blurred image to that is also an unreal asset where people were saying that you got this from also has a little bit of stubble and a little bit of hair to be completely frank you know what i'm saying just just to be frank but we can just leave that there but just to be frank that one also has a little bit of hair to be fair okay but to double back to the you wanted to surprise people with the facial reveal of the villain of your game why would it be an insane unveiling reveal if your game is an original ip from an indie studio who is going to be surprised when you unveil a villain that is supposed to have no context, no ties to anything else, brand new, because it's apparently a brand new IP that you're making. Why is that a surprise that you have to blur and hide? It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. You're not making sense here. Why is that a surprise? Like on what? Oh, sh hey, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to hit you. Hide your flat. I'm sorry, bro. I'm not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set you right here. I'm gonna try and calm down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why would that be uh, a surprising revelation or like a big reveal? I just don't understand that. I don't understand that. Just show your villain. Just show the villain. If it's, if it, like, that, that's not a surprise. Games do it all the time. The only time there's an unreal unveiling is when you know that there's gonna be a big, like, 
reaction to it because we know that it's connected to a different universe like when a sequel comes up from another game or whatever that's when you can really do unveiling and stuff like that but it's a new ip it's a new game what is the surprise what's the shock value so then moving on from that the interview pivots to talking a little bit about how people are now claiming and calling blue box game studios and and like hasn caraman and like everyone involved in this game's development as you know scammers and they're saying that you know because of the lackluster app reveal and all these other things that like they're just scamming people and a huge document that we will touch on in just a second but let's go over those quotes that are him responding to the whole scamming stuff he says your quote team members of blue box and also freelancers we work with they don't feel comfortable to show their faces right now it's not fun being labeled as a scammer right so yeah that's the reason why people don't feel comfortable right now showing their faces or even publicly announcing that they're involved with abandoned i'm really depressed right now i can't sleep i can't eat the biggest thing that's bugging me is just that people are labeling us as scammers that is the big thing that really really hurts me because that is not my intention at all you know so i hear you and you know what you know th this was something that i probably should have said at the beginning of the video but i'll say it now obviously and i hope that this is just as clear as possible i do not condone anyone that watches this video or watches any of the part one and part two stuff to go and just start barraging Blue Box Game Studios and Hessen with a bunch of really crappy harassment. That's not what I'm trying to do here. Like, I do not condone that. Like, if your takeaway is to watch these videos and start going on Twitter and like harassing Hessen and like harassing the Blue Game, the uh, Blue Box Game Studios Twitter, like, d don't. That's not that's not the intent here. That's not what we're doing here. We're just talking about the whole situation. But let's break down here why people are calling them scammers and everything this started making the rounds okay i'm not sure the origin of this graphic uh i'm gonna just have it just panning throughout the video and you can you know pause and look through everything here but this goes through multiple years of this studio's you know creation and a bunch of different projects and there's a lot of delays a lot of cancellations and a lot of deletions of any records of projects as well that they were working on and just a bunch of things that that just did not come to fruition and this was over the course of 2015 to the modern day here with abandoned and so overall you know all in all where i sit with this right you know now that we're all caught up here is that i still think that there's something going on with this game okay i still think it's weird that this game just has this crazy rollout where sony is involved with this and this is just too weird to just not be anything right like, like i just don't think so you know granted i i could be wrong and I'm fine with that. But at this point, you know, I'm kind of just going to go down with... I'm going to go down with the ship, essentially. <laughs> like, that's where I'm going. Like, I'm just going to go down with the entire thing. If it ends up crashing and burning, I'll admit I was wrong. This was still just an This was still just a completely hilarious story to at least follow, right? Like, above anything else. But I still think that there's something up with this game. And I just can't shake it. I, I just can't. I can't let go. I can't shake it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, all in all, right? Like, I'm still going to follow the app as it gets developed and as it gets updated and the game as it gets updated and developed as well and everything. But listen, if Hessen and BB Games are being called scammers, then don't scam people. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if you're going to, and granted, they said here in the interview that they're going to start doing this, but maybe don't put out a date and then you don't do what you said you were going to do right uh and then also something interesting here from imran khan the day actually the day after august 11th right that the uh patch was supposed to go live for the real-time experience he says that none of the usual psn patch trackers are reporting a patch submitted for the abandoned app which is curious since they say one is coming that was a day after the patch was supposed to go live so a patch didn't even really exist in the first place yes it was being worked on at their studio of course but there wasn't even a patch on the psn back end the day that you were tweeting that the patch was going to go live at noon you see what i'm saying here so when you put it all together yes you don't want to be called scammers i understand that you know i believe that there is a game here 100 percent. you know like there i mean i hope there's a game here right but maybe don't make people feel 
like they're scammed by putting out a release date once again you know they said they're gonna improve it but we you know don't put out a date and not hit it and maybe don't talk about patches that don't actually exist yet on the PSN back end after they're supposed to be launched for public consumption you know maybe maybe we can do that you know and and one thing I just thought of off time ahead, I just want to make sure that we have it here on the record, um, is that, you know, even Shuhei Yoshida is out here tweeting about the game. He, you know, was with us while we were waiting for this game to finally get patched and everything and get updated. And uh, he replied to someone, I think, saying that, like, he had no idea what was going on with this game, which I just don't believe because Shuhei Yoshida, I'm sorry, you're the head of the indie space in PlayStation. Like, come on now. Of course, you know about what's going on with this game. Um, but, you know, he was waiting as well. And he's had just weird replies whenever someone asked him on Twitter about this game. That's essentially where we're at right now, guys. So, I'm going to leave it to you guys down below. What do you think about this? What, what are your thoughts on Abandoned right now? Are you still following the game? Are you not following the game? I'm still going to be on this game just because I'm just curious as to where, you know, as to where we go from here. Um, but this is a very interesting place that we're at and i think what i really want to end off as we're doing the outro here is that listen before when this happened okay like, like we we have another pushback from blue box game studio saying that no this is not kojima no this is not konami no this is not silent hill no this is not metal gear right they're saying it again but the last time they said that when they put that pinned tweet up on the twitter which is still pinned by the way it's still pinned after that they put up this weird conspicuous blurred image that looks like solidus looks like big boss right so i just want to know if they're gonna do it again are they gonna are they gonna put something out that intentionally gets the people questioning again you know i'm curious we're gonna see because i'd say you know i already i, I already cut the bill and say hey listen you already did that uh the first time with that blurred image so i just feel like you know what you're doing at this point but we'll see how it all goes and we'll see if, if, if there's another you know reoccurrence of that coming up in the future but to keep on the date with that make sure that you keep it locked here on PlayStation source keep it subscribed like the video if you enjoyed it as well as make sure to keep it locked here on the channel for the latest and greatest in playstation and of course blue box game studios abandoned game release as well for ps5 make sure to also go down below in that description like the video of course all that great stuff comment what you think about this whole thing and check out our links down below in the description including our twitter our discord our anchor link all that great stuff save slot podcast all that great stuff thank you all for watching and as always greatness awaits